Hello, this is Travis Sabin from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today I'm going to walk you through an overview of the new Flow Visualization for Analysis Workspace. When I come into Analysis Workspace, I click on the Visualization panel, and I can see that I have Flow now as one of my visualization options. I simply click and drag that onto the panel itself, and immediately I'm presented with three options for uh, beginning my Flow. I can start from Entry, Exit, or from a specific dimension or item, and I'll walk through each of these um, to give you an idea of what they look like. So if I pick page as my top dimension, I can drag it into the entry drop zone and immediately I'll get a result return with the top entry pages into my app or website. And the green over here designates entry and so I have home as my top um, entry page for my particular app right here and I have the other top five results as well. And then I have this other option down here with the plus 157 more it's kind of a catch-all junk drawer um, where all the other results are kept. And if I click on that, it will automatically expand and give me five more additional options added. So now I have the top 10 entry pages, and I can keep going if I was interested in expanding that further. Um, in order to expand these, these nodes out and start exploring where people are going next, I simply click on that node, and it will expand with the top five results. And I can click on various nodes and start expanding and exploring to see where people are going and how they're moving through my app or my website. And if I, if I want to collapse a particular node, I just click on it again a second time and it will get rid of the flows that were going out of that. And so, um, uh, also if you click on the node it's, or hover over the node, you'll get some a little tooltip with some additional um, metrics and links. So you can see the percentage uh, of traffic that's going through there, the, the visitor count, and the top links flowing out of there. And you can also hover over a particular path itself and see how that path is doing in terms of visitors and percentage of traffic. If you come into the gear icon, you can also change it to be on a visit level instead of on a visitor level, which is the default, and it will automatically update the visualization for you. And then finally, if you want to start over and um, do another flow visualization, you come up to this blank space at the top in the header, you right click, and you can click start over, and it will start automatically with uh, the original state. So let's do exit now so we can see what that looks like and it will return the same uh, structure and pattern except for this time now it will be moving from right to left instead of left to right. And instead of green for entry, it is red for exit. But again, I'll have the same interaction where I can click on a node to expand it out and see the path. I can click on the junk drawer to open it up um, horizontally to get some additional uh, um, paths and um, points there. I have green up here designating the entry into this particular point, and I can hover and get my uh, metrics and links flowing in and out. So that is the entry one. So let's start over one more time, and now we'll focus on the middle one with the dimension or, or dimension item. So first let's do just a dimension. If I select pages again, and I drop it into this drop zone, it will automatically sort through all my page dimensions and return the top result with uh, the highest number of traffic for that period of time. And it is designated with this little asterisk here, which means that this, this is the focus point that we call uh, of the flow. And so I have my top results flowing in, including my entries, and my top results flowing out, including my exits, uh, plus the junk drawers. And again, I can do all the same visualizations where I expand and I collapse, and I can do it in both directions. And if I hover over the focus point on the left, I'll get the metrics and links for those flowing into the focus. If I hover on the right, I will get the metrics and links flowing out of the focus. And uh, again, if I hover on the other nodes, I'll get the, the metrics and links for those. If I hover on a particular path, then I can see where people are moving and how they're going um, and moving in and through the app. So uh, that's how it works when you do just a dimension. If we start over and pick a, pick a particular dimension item, Instead of doing home, which I know is the top result, I'm more interested in sports and how people are doing that. I can pick that and it will build me a flow um, with the same layout and functionality, but now sports is my focus point. And now I can begin exploring and identifying how customers are moving through the app or, or website uh, with this as my focus point. So hopefully this visualization will allow you to identify uh, customer behavior and, and actions through your apps, your apps and websites and allow you to make changes to increase conversions. Thank you.